So Farm Sim 22 came out just a few weeks ago and if you're having some issues with the axis or the steering wheel dead zone like I am, this video is for you, stay tuned. What's going on buddy? Welcome back to another video. So we're not gonna spend a ton of time explaining what this video is, but if you've been playing Farm Simulator 22, like I have been, uh, especially with your wheel, then you've probably noticed there's a pretty large dead zone when it comes to steering left or right. And today I'm gonna show you how to fix that, show you where those settings are that you can go in and refine those. So without further ado, let's head on over to the game and show you how to correct those settings. So jumping right into this, just to get a uh, kind of a small thought out of the way, and unlike your traditional vehicles where they have self set Centering steering, uh, realistically on agriculture equipment, that is not the case. They actually don't have self-centering, at least on uh, a lot of the models. Some of these new models may have it, but traditionally, uh, agriculture equipment does not have a self-centering steering wheel. So it may be a little bit of a learning curve to kind of get past that, especially if you're familiar with games like uh, Assetto Corsa or Forza, where your force feedback automatically returns your wheel to center. Uh, it's actually normal in farming. Uh, in this case, farming simulator for it to not to do that. So keep that in mind as you're making these settings. Uh, but what we're actually going to do is I'm going to go into the multi era career here and I'm going to show you kind of the issue that I'm having. And I've got that wheel overlay to help you guys kind of visualize what's going on here. So you can see that I'm moving this left or right on the wheel there. And once we load this, you'll kind of see the amount of access dead zone that we're experiencing default out of the box that will go in and change. So if we click on start, uh, let's choose, let's just grab a quick tractor here. I'm going to zoom in real close. You can see the front tires there. You can see that the wheel, we can move it a pretty heavy amount before the wheels even start to respond. It takes about right here to about right there for the wheels to actually respond. And that can make it extremely difficult when you're trying to steer the tractor. And uh, to me is actually very unrealistic. It doesn't have that high of a dead zone. And so we're going to go in and make those tweaks. So all you need to do is hit escape. You need to go back to your main menu. Obviously, you'll want to have your uh, steering wheel and stuff plugged in before you boot up your game. And we're going to go to options directly from here. So from here, we've got our force feedback, which is set to 50%. Uh, another thing with force feedback is, uh, from what I understand, and correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments, but uh, a lot of agriculture equipment as well is not designed to basically feel everything through the steering column or through your chair, like you're going through some fields. So obviously if you have a lot of that, it's gonna get pretty obnoxious. So again, correct me if I'm wrong, um, but as far as force feedback, I think 50% out of the box is fine. You can move that up or down from zero to hundred to kind of tweak that or tailor that to more of what you want. Um, but the biggest thing is on the left-hand side, we're gonna click on the little slider icon. If you're on a console, you may have a gamepad as your default. Uh, but we're going to go down here and we're going to click on where it says switch device. So if we click on that, you can see everything. We've got the G29 driving force. I am using a Logitech steering wheel. This should work for the G29, the G923, I think it is, the G27. It should work for your Thrustmaster because this is not requiring any additional software. All of the settings that we're adjusting are directly in game. You just may need to tweak some depending on what wheel you have. Uh, access one is going to be your steering, left or right. Access 11 is going to be your accelerator, so your gas pedal. Number 12 is gonna be your brake. And then access 13 is going to be your clutch. Now I don't use the clutch at least right now, that may change in the future, but from what I've seen, leaving the sensitivity on all of the axes at 100 seems to be perfect. The biggest tweak that we're gonna make is going to be access one dead zone, which is your steering. 14%, you can see how long it took for the wheel to respond. Uh, after doing some fine tuning, I've discovered that 2% is perfect for me. It still allows a little bit of dead zone so you can get some nice straight lines in the fields, but doesn't take forever for the steering wheel to respond. So I set that to 2%. You may want to bump that up or down depending on what you're looking for. Access 100. Uh, I like to have full range of the gas pedal, so I turn this down to zero. Uh, same with the brake, all the way down to zero. If you do use a manual transmission, if you like to rest your foot on the clutch, you may want to leave this a few percentage uh, higher. I, I put mine to zero just because I don't tend to rest my foot on the clutch. But again, if you do, you may want to do like maybe 5% or 10%. And you may need to fine tune that depending on how much weight you push while you're on the clutch. So I'm going to set mine to zero. We're going to hit apply, hit OK, go back to that save. And we'll grab that same tractor here. So you can see, I'll zoom in real close. As I move it, you can see that the steering wheel and the wheels respond much quicker than they did before. So if we go in the cab view here, 
and actually start driving this, you can see right there in the center where there's a pause in the steering wheel. This is that dead zone. This is good. So if you have your hands on the wheel and you're just kind of cruising along, moving left or right a little bit, you can see that you've got a little bit of play for it to respond, but it's not a drastic like it was before. So if we just cruise around here, this makes things a little bit easier to drive. So you can see that we've got some still some nice, smooth steering. It's not very jarring. Obviously, you don't want to whip them back and forth. This isn't a drift car. It's a tractor for Christ's sake. But uh, it certainly makes things easier and makes the game a lot more enjoyable when you can properly steer your equipment. So again, just going through there, tweak those settings the way that you want them. These seem to work best for me. Have some fun with it. And of course, best of all, uh, enjoy some farming. Happy farming. So there you have it, really easy to do, and you'll want to take these settings, obviously, and tweak them the way that you want, but hopefully this video helps at least one of you guys out there that are having some trouble with the steering in Farm Simulator. It's an awesome game. I've had a blast on it, and it just needs some tweaking in order to make the wheel that much better. So if you have any other questions, reach out down in the comment section below. But that's going to wrap it up. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you got something out of this video. Those help us grow our channel, help the YouTube algorithm. It's not a secret. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.